My name is Bob, Bob Scheibel. Uh, that word rhymes with Bible. I am the chair of Maine Voices for Palestinian Rights. I'm here today because this is the uh, annual Brunswick Peace Fair and Maine Voices for Palestinian Rights, MVPR, is doing everything it can right now to uh, get people informed about what's happening in Palestine, what's happening particularly in Gaza, not only what's happening there, but what led up to it and the broader context of this violence that's happening right now. We are starting a, an outrageous truth campaign. And this campaign, here's the way we define an outrageous truth. An outrageous truth is a plain and simple truth that stuns people who have been believing outrageous lies. They become stunned into outrage. That's why we call them outrageous truths. But these are fact-based, reality-based truths. And we believe that it is time for Senator Snow, Senator King, Representative Pingree, and Representative Michaud to start learning the truth because their votes are clearly based upon the misinformation that they have, which I presume they think is the truth. And so we are going to be calling them to task for this and through a variety of ways, social media, hand-delivered documents, which we will be bringing to their offices. We're going to be calling their attention to what is really happening and what has really been happening so that they can make informed decisions. Netanyahu's assertion that Hamas was responsible for those killings. That is an outrageous lie, and he knows it's a lie because we know that within 48 hours after those kids were kidnapped, he knew that the three teenagers, uh, the settler kids in the West Bank, when they were kidnapped, he knew within 48 hours that Hamas had nothing to do with that. But he put a gag order on that information. Why? Because he wanted a reason to attack Hamas in Gaza. He wanted a reason to try to destroy the unity government that had been. So that's the one outrageous truth. Attached to that is, of course, that we are attacking Hamas because we need to protect our citizens. That's another outrageous lie. What he's doing in no way is protecting Israeli citizens. And every time that Israel in the past has launched an attack on Hamas, the next time around, Hamas has been stronger. This time, of course, Hamas has been able to kill some 60-something people. Well, he told us that Operation Cast Lead was to protect the Israeli people. If he would try the simple expedient of stopping the siege, sitting down and talking with his enemy, which is what negotiations are about, talking with Hamas, that is what would protect his people, not this belligerency campaign that he's on.